Hey guys, CBI Printsu here, and today we're gonna to be showing you how to install the brand new Printsu Pro Rack for the Toyota FJ Cruiser. Alrighty guys, so before we get started, we're gonna have a quick little overview and a little double check to make sure we have all of our components. You're gonna to wanna to check and make sure you have all of your outer side rails, your inner side rails, all of your crossbars, all of your mounting feet. There's gonna be three mounting feet to this roof rack your wind deflector and your specific crossbar little mount behind your wind deflector and your trim piece. Alrighty guys, so let's do a quick little overview of some of the tools that we're gonna use to, to install this roof rack. Um, usually we like to have a drill. Um, you're gonna want at least a 13 millimeter socket, a 13 millimeter wrench, and a 5 30 seconds Allen key to install the screws into your side rails. Alrighty guys, so the very first step of this install, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna start attaching these crossbars to your inner and outer side rails with these one inch long quarter 20 screws that we have for all of them supplied in your hardware kit. So what we're gonna do right now is just gonna start them all by hand going down the line and then we'll cinch them all together once we're done, so. Alrighty guys, now that I've got all the screws started by hand, what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a decent amount of Vibratite or Loctite to all the screws before we tighten them all the way in, that way it doesn't rattle loose or anything like that. Now that we have all the screws all Vibratited well, now we can cinch them all down with the drill. So just go ahead and do that with all of them real quick. Alrighty guys, so now that we kind of have the main structure of the roof rack assembled, now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the wind deflector assembly. So as you see, you're going to have the actual wind deflector itself, you're going to have the noise reducing trim, and you're going to have the crossbar itself that it's going to mount to. Keep in mind that the crossbar you guys are going to have is going to be a clear anodized one, not a black one like this. So, okay guys, so all the things that we're going to need hardware wise for the wind deflector, um, what you're going to want to do, you're going to have these um, half inch quarter 20 screws, you're going to have corresponding washers, and you're going to have these T washers that are going to slide in the actual tracks of the crossbar itself for it to mount to. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to slide those in, we're going to try to line those up with these holes so that when we slap that plate on there, it's going to be a lot easier to fasten everything down. A little tip for you guys of what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that this raised portion with the threads is facing up. That way it's a lot easier for the screw to grab, out, to grab onto, so. Now that we have the main um, wind deflector assembly done, now we can take this wind deflector, we can install it onto the rest of the roof rack using those same one inch long quarter 20 screws. We're gonna do that right now. Make sure you grab your Vibratite again or your Loctite. Okay guys, so the next thing that we're gonna talk about is we're gonna talk about prepping the roof for mounting the roof rack onto it. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna get our black silicone that's gonna come in our kits. We're gonna to wanna to silicone these EPDM washers and these aluminum spacers down over the factory mounting spots in order to be able to set the roof rack on top of them with the mounting feet. So here's gonna be our factory mounting location. We're gonna have three of these sections along the roof. Um, these caps were already removed from this customer's vehicle because he already had a roof rack on there previously, but it's pretty easy to just take a plastic pry tool, get underneath the caps, pop them off and it'll show this exposed mounting feet right here, or these exposed factory mounting solutions right here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our black silicone, comes in your kit, you're gonna use the lid to puncture it. Good to go there. Take your nozzle, I've already trimmed it off with some scissors. Throw it on, good to go. So then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take EPDM washer, spacer, you're gonna wanna do a pretty decent amount of silicone on the inside to seal it up from any water and on the bottom of this EPDM washer. 
just to be sure that absolutely no water can get into the vehicle whatsoever. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our washer, our spacer, we're gonna set it there in prep for when we actually throw the roof rack on the vehicle. And we're gonna do this with every single one of the other mounting spots that they're on this roof. Alrighty guys, now that we have the roof prepped and siliconed with our spacers, now the last thing we're gonna to wanna to do before we set the roof rack on there is install our mounting feet. As you can see here, we have a mounting foot one, two, and three. And these mounting feet are gonna to correspond to these small vertical slots along the edge of the roof rack all the way down. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our small baggie of one inch long quarter 20 screws, and we're gonna install these mounting feet to the inside of the roof rack sitting like this with the press nuts facing inward to the rack. So let's get, let's do that real quick. Okay, alrighty guys, now that we're getting ready to actually lift the roof rack onto the vehicle, what we're gonna wanna do with these mounting feet before we tighten them up, we're going to want to slide them into their utmost position. That way, it sits on the roof rack nice and even. We're going to do that with all of them all the way around the rack. And as for the actual hardware that we're going to use to fasten the roof rack down, these are going to be M8 by 50 millimeter bolts. You're going to come with this nice big fender washer. You're going to have enough in your kit to tighten down all these mounting feet to your roof rack. So once you get it set on the roof, just start installing them as needed. They will thread down into that factory mounting hole and just start tightening them down. Well, you're gonna need to tighten these down, guys. You're gonna wanna grab a 13 millimeter wrench and before you get too crazy and cinch them down all the way, you're gonna wanna check and make sure that your spacing and your slots is equal on both sides. That way the roof rack is actually centered on the roof of your vehicle. Alrighty guys, so that wraps up the installation for the Prince Hoop Pro Rack for the Toyota FJ Cruiser. As always guys, if you guys have any questions or concerns, please reach out to our customer service emails. And if not, we will always have instruction kits provided for you guys through our website. Thanks for watching guys, we appreciate your time. We'll see you on the trail.